She was trembling and screaming. She was only three months old. Just a bubba. It's all in a split second, but I was driving something caught my eye and it was a bag. And then a four-wheel drive came flying past. And I saw this tiny little thing run across the road and she made it through the traffic and then stopped in the corner. The people that threw the bag wanted to go over the bridge and down into the ravine, but she hit the guardrail and then she bounced off there and then scuttled out of the bag across the road. And the traffic was still pretty busy, so it was very risky trying to get her, but I was very lucky she didn't vomit herself. And I went into my shopping and I pulled up the night's nice dinner, which was a lasagna. Put it close to her nose and let her smell it and try to distract her from what was going on around her and everything that had happened to it. The lasagna snapped her out of the fear. I just sat with her and I stroked her chest. She calms down and she actually lifts her arm and that was her signaling it's okay now, like you can lift me. because we really did talk to each other without talking. I got her and then I was like, what am I going to do now? All the clinics had closed. I had several dogs at home, so taking her home wasn't an option. So I frantically called a friend. I asked if I could bring her to her house just for the night and then worked on getting a foster home for her. She spent about two to three months in foster care. She was learning how to socialise, so she was learning how to be a puppy, to trust humans again. She was really happy from the get-go. She absolutely knew she was in the right place, and that's when she met Maria, and her future was really good. She's just been amazing in her home, and she goes to the beach and gets walked on and off leash. There's something with her that there was always something... I don't know, it's funny when you sometimes meet dogs, you kind of know they're going to be okay. And I just knew she was going to be okay. She's gorgeous.